all saw the COVID-19 news headlines like these on the slide here, reporting surplus waste during the peak of the crises. But food was wasted for several reasons, including obviously the shutdown of manufacturing and uh, plants, but, but majorly the waste was because lockdown caused this massive shift in our consumption channels. Uh, so as we went into lockdown overnight, you know, food service essentially closed in many parts of the world, we had this massive pipeline of food coming into the system uh, that had nowhere to go, hence you know, the, the large quantities of waste uh, that, that we see reported, that we saw reported. But look, with every crisis, there are, of course, opportunities. Um, in this case, we saw advocates work on food loss and waste accelerate in many instances, particularly in the food rescue space. Uh, there were also, I guess, another sort of COVID win uh, was at the consumer level in terms of food loss and waste. So a number of COVID food surveys were run in different parts of the world. Many of these showed similar trends. Uh, the consumers actually were, became more food smart in their food management practices during lockdown, uh, which resulted in less household food waste than usual. Um, uh, one thing I wanted to, to point out was that we've, we've heard some really cool stories of unprecedented amounts of innovation and partnership happening in the food industry at this time. Uh, just as an example, we're hearing of uh, companies that are more aware that with sudden channel disruptions, they need to be able to move quickly to shift their manufacturing lines to different pack sizes. So moving from out of home channel pack sizes to, to smaller retail pack sizes. And you know, so innovating to make these sorts of, of changes uh, happen. So in summary to, to COVID and food waste, because I do want to move on or I guess go back uh, from this focus, this particular shock to the system really serves as an awakener for us, I think, on the urgent need to improve the resilience in our food supply chains. But all the analyses by the World Bank, by the FAO and, and other United Nations United Nations organizations show that reducing food waste is a really critical pathway for improving food system resilience. So what I do is, is make the case in the rest of this presentation that reducing food waste is critical for the sake of people and for the planet. And I highlight some of the exciting investment uh, opportunities in this space. Look, you've heard this before, uh, you know, but just as a reminder, it is estimated that approximately of one third of all the food produced on this planet is not consumed, so it is wasted. In terms of what is being wasted, look, you can see on the slide, it's, it's everything, cereals, meat, uh, roots and tubers. In terms of where it's being wasted, it's, it's everywhere. It's right along that supply chain uh, from, from farm to fork. Uh, where, in terms of proportions uh, along that supply chain, it's wasted, depends on where in the world we, we look. Um, homes and restaurants are a hotspot for food loss and waste in high income regions, whereas losses during handling and storage are a hotspot in low income regions. Uh, and you can see in the dark green there on farm production losses. So these are um, during and just after harvest are an issue in, in all of the regions. 